Welcome, Shalom. Um, we are so happy to have you. Bruchim Abayim and Chag Chanukah Sameach. I am Terry Kay of the Jewish Grandparents Network. We are thrilled that you joined us today for a Hanukkah celebration with Naomi Less and Hanukh Piven. Um, we are beyond delighted to co-host with the Jewish Agency for Israel Global Partnership Together Network. Firstly, start the record. Thank you. Uh, a big thank you, first of all, to our friend Lori Klinghoffer, co-chair of the Jewish Agency Partnerships Global Council who thought of this idea and connected us, our two uh, organizations. So thank you and welcome, Lori, um, with your grandchild. Uh, also, our thanks to Zoe Fleischer of Tiny Windows Consulting and Sarah Reed, our JGN colleague who are helping facilitate and let people in from the waiting room. Um, I, I want to tell you that all participants are on mute. So we invite you to put your questions and your comments in chat, and we will watch chat throughout. I also have a request for you. If you're able and you know how to change your Zoom name, could you indicate, as I have done, if you are in the Israel or the United States? That would be terrific. So very quickly, our plan is as follows. First, David Raphael, who is the executive director of the Jewish Grandparents, will say a quick hello. Then we have a beautiful recorded, short recorded message from Doron Almog, who is the chairman of the executive of the Jewish Agency. After that, we will be thrilled to welcome Naomi Less, a, a renowned singer-songwriter who will lead us in a few Hanukkah songs. And we will then hand over to Hanukh Piven, um, our celebrated artist host, to lead us in our creative project. And we promise we will end at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, sharp, 7.30 p.m. in Israel. My great pleasure to introduce my dear colleague, David Raphael, Executive Director of the Jewish Grandparents Network. Uh, uh, habaim. Welcome, everybody. Boker Tov, the Soharai, the Erev Tov. Um, I was given a one minute or one sentence introduction, which I would do. I want to thank everybody for coming and say, Am Yisrael Chai, Kol to the Kulam. Thank you. Thank you, David. Um, um, we, uh, may I uh, ask Zoe to please share a very sweet, quite delightful message from Doron Almog. Dear Lori and uh, all the grandparents, our friends in United States, and of course the grandchildren. I'm here in our house with the county. Hello, everyone. My granddaughter, 11 years old, and uh, we are shortly lighting our Hanukkah candles uh, in Hanukkah. Hanukkah is the festival of lights, festival of heroism, Jewish heroism. These are the two words for Hanukkah, the victory of the Maccabim over the Greek here in the land of Israel. And um, I think first victory for grandparents here in Israel is about raising children, loving our children, and every day educating them to be proud to be proud on our Judaism, to be proud on our country. Beside the grief and sorrow, we are in a war time in Gaza and Lebanon. We suffer losses, but every day we hear about Jewish heroism in Gaza by our fighter in Lebanon, but also among the citizens of the state of Israel uh, some of them badly suffer from this war, evacuated from south and north to the center of Israel, living in hotel and motels, but celebrating Hanukkah, which is very important that this 
heroic, horrific time, a time of crisis. So I would like to say Happy Hanukkah and ask Kani also to congratulate you. Please, Kani, say. Hello from Israel. Chag Hanukkah Sameach. We love you, waiting for you in Israel. We love you. Lori and all the grandparents and the grandchildren, we love you and we are here for you and you are there for us. Partnership. Chag Hanukkah Sameach. Um, thank you, that was very sweet. Please communicate to, to Doron. Uh, uh, may I introduce Naomi Less? Uh, Naomi is away at a retreat with her colleagues at Lab Shul and um, has kindly given us a, a piece of her time. Naomi is an internationally celebrated singer-songwriter and associate director and ritual leader at Lab Shul, uh, which many us many of us know in the united states know and respect thank you so much for leading us in song today naomi i'm thrilled and honored to be here with such an incredible team and so happy to see all these faces hello can i get a big wave from everybody wow why don't you even like if you want to you can put where you're zooming in from like where are you in the world where are you maybe you can type it into the chat you know, where you're zooming in from, it'll be so fun to see how far away everybody is, but how close we are. Wow, New Jersey, Terry, first responder, I love it. And Brooklyn, my hometown right now. Oh my goodness, so many people. Well, while you're zooming in, Terry has agreed to share her home Hanukkah, her home menorah with us. And we're going to actually, because Guess what? Those of you who are in the States, in the United States, like my Merrimack and Palm Beach, is it nighttime yet? No, is it daytime? Yeah, but guess what? In Israel, it's already the third night of Hanukkah. So we're going to celebrate it together. Isn't that wild? Isn't that so exciting? So if you have a Hanukkah, how many candles do you put in? It's kind of a trick question. How many candles do you put in? Hold up your fingers. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to put that back in gallery so I can see everybody. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. So the Lifshitz family, I have four. Okay. You are a very technical family. I love it. Anybody have a different? Oh, I see Lee Hendler's family. You're saying four too. You're right. You are technically right because it's night three. Can you hold up three fingers? And the sha. Mash. It's night four. Oh, night four. And, oh, so technically, uh oh, technically, how many candles are on your Hanukkah right now? Fourth night and the shamash. Five candles on your Hanukkah tonight. Four nights and one shamash. You be the shamash. You light your candle. So we're going to get ready and sing the blessings and then we're going to sing a little bit together because we have some. We have some more blessings from our hearts to send out to the world. So are you ready to sing with me? I hear you. Uh-huh. Uh, we're going to just light the shamash and hold it steady. Baruch Adonai Vitivanu le hadlikne shelchanuka. How amazing, what a gift it is to light the lights. We treasure these traditions as we light the Hanukkah candles. Are you ready to light? Do you light from left to right or right to left? That's always the big argument. It's an ancient argument. My family, we like to put light, the newest light first. So the newest light would be all the way, Terry's even pointing to it over there. The newest light would be the, the, the from, from left to right. I get confused because Zoom is all backwards and everything. So are you ready to sing about miracles? Let's light those other candles. Sim 
Lavotenu, Bimotenu, by Vasman We light up the night and the daytime in the United States right now. We light it all up, remembering great miracles and small miracles, every miracle from our ancestors, from all of our ancient ancestors, and the miracles that are still happening today. And that's it. We only say two blessings because we say three on the first night, but just two for the rest of Hanukkah. I am so happy to sing with you. And what I think of when I think of the Hanukkah candles, I want you to look into your lights right now. Do you see those flames dancing? It's like you can't even, I wonder if you could even dance like a flame, like your candle. Can you move? So when I think of these candles and those flames dancing, I think of everybody in the world has a different way that they dance. And to me, that's what peace is, that we love every single type of dancing in the world, that we love each other and that we hope that we can dance safely and peacefully together across the world. And so we say that by saying peace or does anybody know how to say peace in Hebrew? Unmute and tell me how you say peace in Hebrew. Shalom. Shalom. And we can say it even in another language. We have so many languages. Put in the chat every way that you know how to say peace. We're going to sing a song about peace. Here we go. Peace, salam, shalom. Peace, salam, shalom. Does anybody know what language salam is? Arabic. Arabic, you're right. Peace, salam, shalom. I see Pax, yes. Peace, salam, shalom. Let's sing that together. Peace, salam, shalom. Peace, salam, shalom. Peace, salam, shalom. Peace, salam, shalom. We believe in peace. We will work for peace. We can live in peace. We believe in peace. Let's sing that together, those lines. Do you believe in peace? Do you believe it? Let's sing it with all of our hearts. Send those flame lights out into the world. Flames of peace all around the world. We believe in peace. We will work for peace. We can live in peace. For peace, peace, salam, shalom, peace, salam, shalom, peace, salam, shalom, peace, salam, shalom. There's another song that we sing when we like the Hanukkah to remember all of these miracles for hope and for strength for our family. It's called Ma Otsur, and I wonder if we can put those lyrics in the chat so we can all sing along. Ma Otsur Yeshu Hati Lichana El Shabaya Tikon Bete Filati Visham Toda Nizabaya So when I think of this time, and I know in, in, the, in the daytime here, I'm actually in Connecticut. And in the daytime here, I see the light of day. It's rain, it started raining here. I can, you can see some of the trees behind me in this beautiful setting I'm in. But then when it turns nighttime and it's getting dark here in New York and in Connecticut at like 
three 30 or four at night. I mean, it's really early. It's dark so early. And sometimes, you know, I like light. I don't know about you, but I like to be in the light. And one of the things that's so magical, and I live in New York city in Brooklyn, and I know there's a couple of people here from Brooklyn. One of the magical things is I see so much light in these winter months around Hanukkah time. And especially when I put my Hanukkah in the window. So I have a song about all those, all those moments of like what Hanukkah means to me is I see miracles all around me in those lights in the window. And I see miracles in all the amazing work of love that's happening with your family. So I wonder if you're with your grandparent right now or your family, maybe you can come close. This is kind of a song to sway back and forth and dance to together, maybe giving big hugs and love, seeing the miracles in each other. You want to snuggle up close to your to your loved ones. And if you're alone in the Zoom room, just snuggle, snuggle to one side of your Zoom so you're next to somebody in the window. This is called Eight Nights. And we'll put the words in the chat. So if you know this song, which is on YouTube and on Spotify, so you can listen to it after this and dance around as well too. Sing along if you know it. Moonlight, stars at night, the season comes around. Windows start to glow, candles burning down. All my memories are stirred when I hear you say these words. Eight nights will be all right. We'll share our dreams of joy and wonder. Eight nights, it feels so right to see the miracle inside of you. Oh, 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 I love all these people hugging. We, me, uh, where are we? Um, we are the second verse. Are you singing along with me? Yeah, are you singing along with me, everybody? Awesome. We are, we are. And, and did we put the lyrics in for everybody to sing? So yes, I see it. Okay, here we go. Heroes, magic oil, the fantasy unfolds. Unexpected, we're connected. We see what this night holds. All my memories are stirred. When I hear you say these words, sing eight nights with me. Eight nights will be all right. We'll share our dreams of joy and wonder. Eight nights, it feels so right to see the miracle inside of you. Oh, 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 oh. Light a candle every night. Dedicated to the light, all the love and peace we found. Spread the message all around. Eight nights will be all right. We'll share our dreams of joy and wonder. Eight nights, it feels so right to see the miracle inside of you. Can you look at your loved one and say? To see the miracle inside of you. And give that person a hug. Here we go. Let's sing that again. Ain't that to feel all right? We'll share our dreams of joy and wonder. Ain't that to feel so right? To see the miracle inside of you. <coughs> We're going to sing a little tune that I think you know. <coughs> it's Ma'ot Sur, which we just sang. We're going to sing it right on the song. Ma na na na. Here we go. Na 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 Excuse me. I'm just getting over a little bit of um little bit of an illness. So I had a little bit of cough in there, but I'm just so grateful. Take a little sip of water. I'm so grateful to be with all of you today. And I'm wishing you a huge Hanukkah, Sameach, Chagarim Sameach, and blowing you a big kiss. Happy Hanukkah, everybody.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, Naomi. Thanks so much. Um, we could watch you for an hour, uh, in, participate with you, go enjoy your retreat, and thanks a million for sharing your time. I'll be in touch with you afterward. We were honored to have you. Uh, may I turn it over to Hanoch Piven to take it away? First, let me introduce Hanoch by saying uh, Hanoch Piven is an award winning Israeli artist. Most of us know him. Uh, is, uh, Hanoch is a children's book author, an educator who, whose colorful portraits have been published for over 30 years in most major American magazines and newspapers, Time, Newsweek, Rolling Stone, and so on. Pa uh, um, Hanoch gained greater, great visibility in Israel as a result of his longtime collaboration with the Haaretz newspaper and his TV shows on the educational channel. Hanok, we are absolutely honored and thrilled that you will lead us in our project today. Thank you. Hi, shalom lekulam. Hi, everyone. Um, so, Chag Sameach, first of all. And um, what we are going to be doing today is actually to talk with each other, not through words, but through objects. And I hope you all have uh, collected some objects here here you have you see i have my own little um board on which i will be working and i will be sharing with you but uh first uh, let me share with you a little presentation i'm going to share my screen let me um uh, let me share my screen and uh after a short presentation we'll be able to um understand what we're doing and hopefully we'll be able to create together. So um, the idea today is to think about heroes, heroes in the Jewish history, heroes in the Israeli history, which can be ranging from um, famous people from the Bible. Like I'm looking right now at uh, Dvorah Nevi'ah, at the prophet uh, Dvorah. Um, judge Dvora. You can see she looks a little bit like another judge that you might uh, know. And uh, But heroes could also be your grandparents or your parents or any other family member. So um, the idea is that we will be creating in a way of creating that anybody can use. It's basically use, uh, it's based on my work, on my uh, creations. Um, my work has been published, as Terry said, in different magazines, and I have created uh, many books for children. But the idea is that today we are going to be communicating through the objects. It is a really fun and easy way of making art that anybody can do. Really, art is first and foremost a means of communication. So the communication today will happen through the objects. We've been doing this uh, for many years in Israel. Here you can see Mayan and myself. Mayan is, by the way, uh, also in this Zoom. I will introduce her in a second. So this is with children in Israel, with older kids, with even older kids in Erzliya, teachers in Tel Aviv, teachers in the Negev, in the south of Israel. This is really something to do with the family. So uh, you are invited uh, to share this with your family afterwards. Uh, it is a wonderful way to create a family portrait, which is also an option for you today if you want to create a family portrait instead of creating um, a picture of a hero. So as I said, I've been drawing heroes of the Jewish people for many years, from Moses to... David Ben-Gurion, the first prime minister of Israel. And of course, Golda Meir, the only female prime minister that we had here in Israel. And uh, of course, American presidents from uh, Abraham Lincoln to, you know, Donald Trump, I'm sure. And you can see that there is a lot of communication in the objects. The message that you get from the banana or from the piece of baloney makes you think. And even if you don't define it exactly uh, in words, it really touches something in your brain. And this is the type of communication, of intuitive communication we want to have today. Not everything 
can be spelled in words. Uh, sometimes an object is there just because it feels right. Um, some objects are indeed very clear, like the American flags in the eyes of President Obama. But some objects, again, like the nose of Obama, each one of us might have a different interpretation and different uh, thought why that object is there. And this is the beauty of art. This is the beauty of the space that we are creating today, that each one of us, when we make art, when we observe art, can think for ourselves. There is no right and there is no wrong. What's important is the meaning that you give to each object. Art is like a game. So it is an opportunity today for us to explore and to experience things that happen when we make art that also happens in life. Like for example, sometimes we're confused. We don't know what we're doing. We are afraid of failing. Art, the art space is a wonderful place to fail, to try how it feels not to know something. And playfulness help us deal with that. Playfulness help us deal with not being sure, with trying things. So I invite you to be playful. Anybody can do it. It's like playing with your food. And uh, you can see that right after the playfulness and the confusion, we arrive to a time in which we are proudly holding our peace, our creation. So the road to create art, as I said, might be confusing. But you know what? We know from the Jewish history paths that are not straight and direct. This is not the road. This is not the street that uh, Moses, that Moshe Rabbeinu took to the promised land. It was actually more of a scenic route. And when we take a scenic route is when we are really exploring. We're not sure exactly where we're going, but suddenly we see a place that is right for us. We see an opportunity and we change our plans. So in a way, creating art is a reminder for to all of us that we need to be flexible, that sometimes circumstances change and we need to be aware and we need to be forgiving and we need to be flexible to change our path and adapt. Art teaches us to pay attention, to see, so to see and to pay attention, I love this quote that says, is to forget the name of whatever it is we are looking at. Meaning we shouldn't rush sometimes to name, to label, to tag. We should try to see in a fresh way. It's very difficult for our brain to see something in a fresh way. So let's practice that. How do we practice that? by making a trick to our brain. For example, what happens when we see faces in the world? The world is filled with found faces. And when we start seeing them, our brain behaves in a different way. See, you are already looking at those pictures in a different way. Found faces are everywhere. The bathroom is filled with them. And I'm sure you know those guys. And uh, usually we see found faces when objects get together, when, when forms get together. Can you see faces here if you put together some of those objects? I'm sure you can see these, but there are others as well. And how about here? Can you recognize faces here? I see some of you are going like this. So yeah, there you go. There is a face there. So what we'll do today is the same. Hopefully you have a whole bunch of objects and we will discover ideas in them, opportunities. And actually a box of matches gave me the idea to start creating pictures using objects. And I realized at the beginning when I was a kid, I was drawing like every other kid. These are, these are my childhood drawings. I was actually born in Uruguay in South America. But uh, once I discovered that I could use objects, I realized that I could tell something about people by using objects that tell the story. A person that has great ideas. Again, we are in the theme of light. 
and a person that sings in a beautiful, loud voice. And she happens to have also a very large nose. So the microphone is the perfect object for Barbara Streisand nose, of course. And um, for a while, I was just making pictures of portraits of magazines. But when I started to create books for children, I realized that there is also a whole level of education that can be transferred through the art. And my last book is called Dream Big, Laugh Often, A More Great Advice from the Bible. I'm very happy about uh, this book, which I've created with Shira Hech Koller. And I'm very happy that next week it will be published in Hebrew, in Israel. And the name in Hebrew will be Ech Sordin Mabul, which means how to survive a flood and more great practical advice from the Bible. And in a way, it is an opportunity to look at other heroes, at biblical heroes, and be inspired also by them, by the curiosity of Eve, for example, and by the faithfulness and the trust on the road, trusting the journey that Abraham had. Abraham had a muna, he trusted his path. And for the caring that uh, Miriam showed, taking care of her family, taking care of Moshe, her little brother, of course. And uh, I love that Balaam's donkey, because he showed Balaam something that he couldn't see. So Balaam's donkey teaches us also to pay attention and to learn from animals. And she belongs to a different holiday, but Esther, of course, teaches us that we change and we grow. The way Esther started Megillat Esther is very different than the way she ended Megillat Esther. So uh, those books led me to be where I am now with you because children started sending me pictures that they created using objects. And slowly, I, with my team, we realized that also adults could create this way and that art is a way to share stories and sometimes in difficult times to share stories when words maybe are cannot be used, are difficult to be used. And I want to share with you before we start uh, creating that in the last two months I've uh, been with my team, we've been traveling around Israel and creating with survivors of October 7th attacks. Uh, this is uh, me visiting Kibbutz Gvulot near the Gaza border and working with a, a population of adults that stayed in the kibbutz. And we've created a big gallery, just as the one we're going to create today, in which different survivors and displaced people from all over Israel have shared their creations. So um, this is uh, Isha Shalom is uh, created by uh, a girl that is being displaced. And um, Roni Misterot, Bali Lachsor Abaita, she wants to go back home. And this was created by a teenager from Kibbutz Reim that is staying in Eilat. And he chose just to look at the landscape and do something that really um, is basically a show of optimism. When we create, we are optimistic. When we are creating, we forget that maybe we don't have control over the big world, but we do have control over what's happening around us. And the act of creation is an optimistic act. Uh, this is a dragon who, which was created by this sweet grandparent, grandfather. Uh, so he shows all of you that you can create as well. And this was created by a teenager from Kibbutz Reim, a kibbutz that was hit heavily during the October 7th attack. So I think this is a creation that needs no words. So uh, I guess now we're going to move into creating with the objects that you brought. And uh, what I would like to ask you is to create a portrait of a Jewish or an Israeli hero. 
גיבור, גיבורה, יהודייה או יהודי, ישראלית או ישראלי. And, um, and so now we are back here, and first of all I want to introduce to you Mayan. Here's Mayan. And uh, Mayan, you can unmute yourself. Um, Hi, everyone. And basically, this is the type of workshop that we will ask you to show us your working space. What I'm doing now and what I we would ask you to do is to show us how you create, to bring all the objects, first of all, to your plate, to the board or to the space where you're creating and start playing with them. Like you can see that I start with something very simple. I'm making a simple face and then I start changing. Maybe I can create eyeballs and maybe... You, you can see that Hanoch is creating on uh, colored paper. You can also use colored paper, but you can also use any other uh, uh, things that you have. You can use your table. You can use the floor. Um, you don't have uh, to use the colored papers. And you can see how he moves or, uh, the objects around and changes uh, things on his work. And uh, I don't know if you saw that he's using uh, different things for the nose and different things for the mouth and for the hair. And uh, the, the most fun with this work is this just playing and trying a lot of different things and moving them and changing them. And if you don't like something, you can just put it aside and try something else. So when you're doing this, try a lot of different things. And then we will uh, we will ask you to point your cameras to your uh, working area and we will highlight um, you, we will highlight so you, everyone can see what you're doing and then we can ask you to say something about what you're doing. Maybe you can tell us about an object uh, that is meaningful to you. Right, maybe a good way to look at this is uh, you're creating somebody that inspires you, but there is a good chance that whoever inspires you also inspires you because in some way you identify with that person. So maybe it's a good way to start is to think about uh, some kind of uh, object that represents um, a hero that you uh, are excited by in the Jewish or Israeli history, and maybe to tell us why exactly you are inspired by that hero. And Because, um, because you're all muted, then we will ask you to unmute yourself. So it will show on your uh, screen and then you will have to approve and then you can uh, open your microphone and tell us something. Where, where should we put his head? We're gonna go, which way to the right we're gonna go? I couldn't see the right here, then his- Mari's gonna go here. Right, uh, Laura, yeah, thank you. Uh, so Jill Ben Yosef, you created something. Uh, is there? Would you like to show it to us? You put it on the chat, but can you sh show us your screen, your uh, working area? Um, oh, there is Jill. Where, where, where are you, Jill? Yeah, let me add you to the spotlight. There you are, Jill. So, so yeah, uh, Jill, I'm asking you to be unmuted. So if you want to share, if you want to mute yourself. You could also write in the chat if the, if you there, can. Think there you are. How's that? There you are. Is that better? Yeah. Now we can hear you. No, good. So we have to go change a poop, unfortunately, but yeah, so we were working with the crackers that she was eating. We got a little dreidel for a nose and we were just about to make a, a necklace with the with the Jewish star so that we could show that she's a, a proud Jew and Israeli supporter. Cool. And maybe when you come back from the wherever you're going to the bathroom, you can uh, you can think about who is it that you are creating. Yeah. Wonderful. Fair. That's fair. Thank you, you Jill, for being the first one. And uh, I would like uh, to ask all of those that are still with closed cameras to open your camera, 
to move filters away so we can really look at the objects and to show us your your table, like um, the leaf sheets family just did uh, in Beit Shemesh. We were near Beit Shemesh today. Hey, leaf sheets family, you want to share something with us? Hello, um, we made David Amelech. Um, this is a navel for his nose and Ooh. a heart for his mouth. Um, yeah. Cool. Nedal, lovely, that, and I see there heart, the pizza. Yeah. Maya, the heart uh, um, has a, such a uh, makes such a nice smile, and you can try adding maybe eyebrows because they also help us make an expression. Uh, and I see that also there is a face there that is made out of pita and tomatoes. Right yeah, next that to you. Cucumber, that cucumber can become a nose. Achshel ha, ma'ima melafefon azu. Al tikkulot amikah. Don't take the cucumber. <laughs> okay, so um, and, and see, maybe you want to add things like hair. You know, um, we know that uh, David had uh, red hair, so maybe you would want to try to add that. You're eating the nose. <laughs> Lovely. Nedal. So again, we are asking you, uh, we are going to be spotlighting those of you that are showing you, showing us your working area. Um, if you want to share something today with us, please write it on the um on the chat. I'm curious about Sandy's. Sandy, do you wanna do you wanna um... Yeah, I also wanted to to ask you, Sandy, to show us uh, your work again. Hi, I unmuted. Thank you. Um I, I'm cheating. I didn't just make this now. I made this when uh, Hanok was in Manhattan and Sandy. it was mostly adults who came to that workshop and it was so much fun that I actually framed my portrait and my husband's because it was too fun to just think of it just as a fun activity that just got put in on a shelf. You want to share it with us, Sandy? I'm sorry? Do you want to share that picture? Show sure. us that picture again. Sure. I love the teeth. Are those beans? I think, you know something? I think they were little stones of a necklace. Um, they were a necklace that I remember unstringing to make them be like my own large teeth. <laughs> and Andy, it looks like a crazy version of you, but uh, it looks like you. <laughs> I accept it. Looks I great. Compliment. I, I loved doing it, being there, watching everybody's creativity. It was amazing fun. Um, yes. And you are so talented and it, this was so great that um, I think my grandson is on here somewhere doing something before he runs to his next bar mitzvah. But um, this was too much fun not to be part of. Lovely, thank you, Sandy. This is the time to share with you uh, that we've created a Padlet. A Padlet is the digital gallery. So some of you might be creating right now and you maybe would like to upload that uh, creation to the uh, Padlet. So what you need to do is basically scan the QR code that I just put on the chat. And once you scan it, you can um, your phone will bring you to the Padlet um, where you are going to be able to share your creation. I just want to share for a second. It's going to look like this. You are going to arrive here. So um, you can also follow the link and you will arrive to the Padlet and then using your phone, you would like to scan uh, the QR code and then it's pretty intuitive how to do it. Uh, okay, back Just here. One, one minute before uh, Ellen uh, shares, I spotlighted, but uh, she's not here. I will add her. I want, um, I want to ask uh, Lori to show us what uh, they're doing. 
because you can see with Laurie's work that you can make the portrait <clears throat> in men in a different scale. It doesn't have to be very big, and you can also add the body to it. Laurie, do you want to tell us something about what you're doing? Okay, what are we working on? We're working on Judah Maccabee. Oh. And we're gonna, wow. he's gonna have Israel flag. And, and the Lego figures have his soldiers. Oh, who are those figures? Those are the Maccabim? Yeah. His brothers? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So um, I think it'll be wonderful later on, once you advance it, if you take a picture from above, and upload it to the gallery that I just put the QR code and the link to go to that gallery. Can we put okay, the link? So we'll no. all be able to, listen, to look at it from above, but do it only once you are done. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you and granddaughter, what's the name of the granddaughter? What's your name? Freda. Freda. Okay. Thank you. Ellen Fox. Okay, we need to ask you to unmute. How do we do it? Okay, Ellen. Right. Ellen, okay, just... sorry, sorry, it took me a few minutes to be able to find my, okay. First of all, hi everybody. And um, this, my, my hero for today and often is my mother and she was a very special woman and I learned a lot from her and so that's who I wanted to remember today um, and I also just want to do a special shout out because um, I have a lot of family from Israel on this call Ruth and um, then I have um, Leah and her kids and Ishai and Amir and um, and Hila and and then I have um, Moria and her kids, Ma'ayan and Shoam, and uh, oh, I'm blanking, Noah. <laughs> and uh, it's just exciting. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Can you tell us something about your mother, Ellen? I can. And I, I can't believe that I forgot to say that that was by Israel. I have my grand grandchild here with me with her wonderful mother, Dory and Adi, and they are in Long Beach, and I just really, really, really love, 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 love them. My mother was a very special woman. She was a Jewish, she was an ed Jewish educator. Um, she was also a high school teacher, and it was because of her that uh, that I think I love teaching so much that uh, she, she gave a lot to the world. <laughs> Lovely, really great to have uh, a hero, an educational hero. Those mm -hmm. are needed as well. Make sure to upload it to the to the Padlet. Yes, uh, who else do we have? Uh, Mayan and Noah? Noah or Noah? Noah? Balachem lesaper lanu mashu? Do you want to sh share something with us? Uh, they're a little shy. Um, oh, my, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, here is what Noah is making. She's uh, she made a um, Aron, a um, Aron Gadim and a bed and the uh, sun, and she has a sticker. It said, uh, Israel Betach Ba'ashem. Do, do you wanna say some, something more, Noah? Oh, this is the sky, okay. Okay. Toda ve'ma ve'zot ha'ita? Noah. Noah? 
Mayan made something really beautiful, and then she uh, did not like it. So now she okay. needs to think again. Yalla Mayan, as to see odd man shuichat. Ayofi, ze ayofi ba avoda. It's the beauty that we can change constantly. Ken, she anachnu lo madbikim, as if shar kol azman leshanot vekol azman lasot. Vani roa she yesh lach sham ez min shnei igulim mamash me'al adaf shelach. שאולי אפשר להשתמש גם בהם. הם, הם ממש נראים מה, מאיפה שאני מסתכלת כמו עיניים, והקו שנמצא שם ממש נראה כמו פה. אז את יכולה לנסות לעשות. It looks like you have eyes and that you have a mouth, so you can, you can try to make something out of it and play with it a little bit. Bregel's fawn. Uh, is there a way to see your creation, Bregel's fawn? Uh, you you are create you created something but we don't see what you created uh braggles do you want to share with us oh wow uh wait we need to ask you to unmute I don't know um, if you can you see oh, that you I'm have to sure. you Am have I to sure? take off the filter. You have, sure you have a blur a blurry filter and it's hard to see because of the filter yeah I'm sorry that's the best okay. I can <laughs> okay <laughs> but uh tell us what you did you you sh you shared something with us the batteries are tears okay Maybe Bregel, just share with us in words what you made. I, I am sure, I am showing my hearing my hearing aids, which are the eyebrows and the eyes, and the batteries are the tears coming down with the mouth, which is sad. Lovely, lovely. I hope uh, we can take a, you can take a picture of it and put it on the chat or or something. Uh, I know I... it might be a technical challenge, but thank you so much for participating. You're well, I, I, I say you're 92 I, years old. I, I, I am an artist, actually, and I have paintings in the museum, the 911 Museum in New York. I am a professional artist, but I'm right now 92 years old and rather unable to have much motion, so I'm sitting quietly. <laughs> You can see what I did. I take a picture, but then I might get, have to re-enter this chat again. I see. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll find a way of seeing your creation. Thank you so much for participating. I think you're one of the most senior participants ever in our workshops, Brendel. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy to be with you. I, I have grandchildren, not in Israel, but I have my daughter-in-law is Israeli and he, her family is all there. We know them very well. So I love you all and I wish everything very good for Israel. Thank Please you. Please, God. Yes. Thank you. Let's see if I take a picture. Mayan, um, you shared, we have the yes. family. Also, we need to cancel that filter. Cancel the blur. Cancel the blur. What? Sorry. Oh, there you are. There you are. Uh, Aria, what did we make? Uh, we made Herzen, right? That's our Jewish hero. Can you oh, hear us? This yep, this is Herzen. Oh, That's his beard. <laughs> I am Herzen, yeah. Helps Your work ha has such a great expression. I think he's surprised. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> a bit right? <laughs> we had somebody from Baltimore, the Handler family, right? We also... Uh, oh. I also uh, spotlighted Ellen Grossman because I saw that there was uh, I saw the work before. Yes, yes. So we we will go uh, first. Let's see 
Li, 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 uh, unmute yourself, please. Hi. <laughs> Suddenly I have a shy artist. But this is what she is working on. Let me see if I can get that. Uh, sorry, I'm doing it. There we go. It's upside down. But this is a portrait. Her mommy is her hero because her mommy was very brave when she was a little girl. And when Leela needs to needs to feel brave herself, she thinks that her mom could be brave, and so she can be brave too. Wow! And you, her mom is so shiny. Yeah, well, and sparkly. She is, she is. Her mom is very shiny and sparkly. And this is all of mommy's hair that we're busy cutting from an old piece of computer tape <laughs> or electronic tape. Can you see it better now? Yeah. And we're working. And her mom has very beautiful, what color eyes? Um, blue eyes. Yeah. So those are her blue eyes. Okay. Wow. I think you, you, you look as beautiful as your mom. You guys look at you girls look alike. <laughs> we, we do. We, there is a little bit of a resemblance. <laughs> but she is having a great time. She's very absorbed. And I have to help her because this copper wire gets very sharp when you cut it. And we have not yet glued it in place. Okay, so we're looking forward to see you work on the Padlet. Thank you. We we would love doing that. Shall we go to Chicago? Oh, yeah. Helen Grossman, uh, unmute yourself, please. There we go. Anouk, I took your um, workshop when you were in Chicago, when you were at um, B'nai Amun, uh, Beth Hillel. Yeah. Not that long ago. So this is this is my Jewish hero. That there's all kinds of good things happening above. There's a beautiful little peace bird, bird of peace dove, and a, a heart always a heart with love. I love all the you can try above. you can try happening. to put the the heart where the mouth should be and you can see that it 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 can be a mouth and it can also be uh symbolic for uh speaking that looks much and better. talking thank you I love that with love yes yeah I love it because it's a very quiet love it's not shouting it's there is something very noble about that expression. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Well, very nice good. Thank you. you. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. And I love the book. Thank you. <laughs> um, so let's visit the, um, I want us to visit the Padlet because look at all the creations that have been, that are um, created right now on the Padlet. So um, we have, um, who create, we have the, um, first of all, we can see Moses again. Didn't we see Moses before with the heart? No, that's another Moses. That's another Moses. Who created this Moses? Maybe you, you guys, you can tell us on the chat and maybe we can unmute you. Um, or in general, if your piece is on the um, on the Padlet, maybe you we so we can unmute you. Uh, and we saw this piece before, right? We saw yes, this piece. Yes, that's uh, Judah and the Maccabees. Judah and the Maccabees. Look at the Maot Hanukkah. The, there is the money here. It looks really golden. I'm sure it's chocolate. And look at the mouth. It's so good. We didn't see before the mouth here um, with the uh, menorah for the mouth. And um, who made this piece? The, oh, my grandmother helped me to make this of me. We did it in my office where she plays a lot. The bracelet and the hair are my grandmother's shoshi. Battery is for her toy. Okay. So that, yeah. Uh, so that was, uh, she has left the room, <laughs> but um, 
she likes to play in here. And so we are using the materials that she is used to playing with, whether it's the thumb drive or the, her hair piece or a bracelet or the paper clips. So that's what she wanted to do. She make make a, uh, a picture that reminds her of what she does in this room. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Um, and uh, who made the Rav Cook? Um, who made the Rav Cook? Anybody wants to claim uh, ownership for a Rav Cook? That great Rav Cook here. So you can do it on the you can do it on the chat or raise your hand so we can see who you are so we can unmute you. But look at that uh, great uh, mustache. That Rav, Rav Cook looks a bit like a pirate also. Okay, if you, yeah, the ribbon, Zoe, you're right. The ribbon of, uh, I love this, Rob Cook. And meantime, uh, we also have Herzl here joined us. Aya, Aya's Herzl. And who made that Moses, number nine, Moses number nine. Okay. So I hope more of you will upload your creations. And uh, so we're back here with you. And um, very soon we're going to say goodbye. And it's an opportunity if you want to share some, maybe if you didn't finish your piece, you want to share some hero that an object represents. Maybe just even if you didn't create, maybe you have an, maybe you have an object that um, you want to share that represents a hero or represent a strength that you have or represents your light. This is a time in which we really are observing each one of us lights to the world, you know, what we bring to the world. So um, before we say goodbye, maybe let's open this for one last uh, opportunity for you to share your own light, a hero that inspires you, light, but uh, through an object. We are in an object uh, workshop, so let's see. Anybody wants to share? You can write in the chat, you can raise your hand. Do we have any? Oh, Rob Cook is by Harry Smith. He left to go to a bar mitzvah, okay. Enjoy the bar mitzvah, Ari. I guess it's Sandy's grandson. Okay, do we have anybody that feels like sharing one light before we say goodbye? Yeah. Yeah, the Lifshitz family in Beit Shemesh. You, can, you guys can unmute yourself. There. Oh, od pam achat, sorry, od pam achat. There. So oh, I made myself when I was little. You made yourself when you were little? Yeah, he had red cheeks. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. That's sweet. Okay. I am uh, putting again the link to the Padlet to, for everybody. Uh, and, you know, even if we will say goodbye now, the Padlet will stay and it will be an opportunity for you to, um, to upload your creation even later. So I put the QR code for the Padlet here as well. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> so I guess, uh, Mayan, I don't see anybody else that is showing us new work. And, uh, this is an opportunity then to say again, Chag Sameach to everyone. And, uh, re maybe remember the main thing that, uh, I would like to, um, that from my experience, art teaches us, art teaches us to, many things, but it teaches us to pay attention, 
It teaches us to deal with uncertainty and to trust our own powers. And our own powers many times arrive from the journey, from staying in the journey and trying things and observing what works for us and where our strength comes through. So uh, thank you, the Jewish Grandparents Network, and thank you, the Jewish Agency for hosting us and all the partners that brought this uh, workshop together. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Hanoch and Mayan, for bringing us together in this joyful way with our mishpacha uh, in Israel and the United States. And I, I do want to call out uh, and say a special mention to our Jewish Agency friends, uh, Ravit, Maya, Penina, and Lori. Thank you for making this happen. Uh, we are absolutely thrilled to have been together today. And from all of us at the Jewish Grandparents Network, we send you Hanukkah wishes for peace and light. Peace. Hag Sameach. Hag Sameach. Hag Sameach. Hag and we're going now to eat Levivot at Mayan's house in Jaffa. Love <laughs> it. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.